letter points out that St. Elizabeth's right here in Brighton sits on 14 acres of prime real estate and the private equity firm says it's not a realistic offer and it does potentially set the stage for a big legal fight. Stewart Healthcare's landlord turning down the state's offer for St. Elizabeth's Hospital before it moves in to take it by eminent domain. Lawyers for Apollo Global Management writing, it rejects the Commonwealth's proposed offer of $4.5 million, which significantly undervalues the real property underlying St. Elizabeth's. Last week, Governor Healy laid out plans to transition five steward hospitals to new owners. The state would seize St. Elizabeth's and transfer it to Boston Medical Center. But lawyers for Apollo say it will vigorously challenge the state's plan. The governor says Stewart and Apollo need to stop playing games with people's health care. We are moving forward with plans to take St. Elizabeth's by eminent domain. We're grateful that the governor has taken this move. We want to work with a responsible company. We Ellen Mackinnis is a nurse at St. Elizabeth's and on the board of the Mass Nurses Association. People are very excited. We're excited not to have to deal with the frat house that is Stewart. We're excited to deal with some adult who are who, whose priorities are not profits. Kearney in Dorchester and Neshoba Valley Medical Center in Ayer are set to close at the end of the month. The state says both have suffered from such chronic underfunding, nobody wanted to buy them. But the MNA says the state should try to save them. That takes a cash infusion. Okay, have at it. I can't think of a better investment than the health and safety of hundreds of thousands of people. I did reach out to Steward Healthcare and also Apollo Global Management. Both declined to comment. Now, all of this is coming on the eve of a hearing that is happening tomorrow in bankruptcy court in Texas to approve the sale of five of those Steward hospitals.